Hi there. In this quick video we will be taking a look at this West. I don't know, I will try to put as much info about it uh, in the description of the video. Hot tub with uh, massaging nozzles, something like that. Basically it has a pump, it moves water through those things and uh, hopefully makes you feel more relaxed. So it has arrived, it's inside the house, I want to unwrap it, make sure that it doesn't have any cracks or damages or whatnot. Daughters are quite curious about it. I'm just going to show you one of its uh, feet that presumably the guys from the company that we bought it from uh, managed to somehow bend. Yeah, that's the one. But uh, it has about 8 feet uh, all under it. So uh, I think in a way or another uh, we will be able to straighten uh, that one out and that little guy an end. Hello and help me move this thing up. Anyway, we will straighten that thing uh, out somehow and uh, yeah, hope no other issues are found. Okay, uh, removed uh, most of the protection and I was a bit like, hmm, this seems to have a few scuffs on it in a few areas. And uh, I wasn't too keen about it. Yeah, anyway, this will get scuffs over the years, but at least when it's new, I was hoping it will not have any. And then I realized something by chance. Hmm. This thing has a protection all over it. So any scuffs that are visible now are actually uh, just on the protection itself so yep all good to go seems okay now somehow let's try and get it uh, to the higher floor of the house that will be fun getting ready to take this to the next level we need it to remove the cover it's held with uh, three screws one at this end one here and one there and the water is not from this it was raining when they brought it so the packaging got uh, some water trapped in it anyway so you remove uh, they have some white covers then uh, some screws you remove them and then this whole thing uh, fall, falls down and comes out so uh, yeah let's take this up use gloves because uh, this it's fiberglass. We have somewhat of a plastic exterior layer. I will try to let me start the flash, maybe it helps. Camera focus, I hope. Let's try and move to the other camera. There's an exterior plastic layer and then some fiberglass underneath for more uh, structural rigidity and that gets in your fingers. Do You do not want that. So gloves with a rubber on them just to make sure you don't have fiberglass in your fingers. Well, half of the way up, just a little bit more to go. It's heavy, but two men should be able to handle it, I think. And it's here. Still need to buy, uh, buy, to buy the faucet and the shower head and whatnot. There is a version of this particular one with included uh, accessories. But you then kind of uh, go into their ecosystem and in case they fail, oopsie daisy. But like uh, the constructor did in this house, they are above so I can put whatever I want in there. <sighs> this thing is here, we, of course I don't think it's uh, in the proper orientation, it seems to be too high from this end. I will need to adjust everything, but anyway, yeah, it was a bit heavy to carry but uh, still doable. In the tub uh, I found some accessories that I will show you later for connecting it to the um, drain. This warranty certificate and uh, some instructions but yeah obviously they are only in Romanian. This particular brand I think it's a rebranding with a Romanian name. I will try to link in the description the original name if I can find it. But uh, yeah, they just tell you what to do and what not to do. 
in theory I will follow everything and show you in this video. In terms of accessories, daughter in the background, this is what we get. Basically here we have uh, the plug for the drain. This is, uh, I don't know its term in English, where water gets trapped, so uh, basically you don't get smells coming back from the sewage, uh, from your drain. So this will connect directly to the bathtub and here we can open this up to clean it in case it ever gets clogged. So I will leave this somehow towards myself and I can clean it in the future, hopefully never, but who knows. And here we connect uh, to the rest of the drain pipes. So, quite good. Before installing the hot tub, we are installing the faucet, the shower head uh, and about the electrical connection. The guy that built the house left uh, this in here, which is going through a differential fuse, but it's not allowed to have uh, a socket, obviously, right where you have water, so it's even a bit too low, so this will not work. Drill hole backwards through the wall, uh, adjust this in here so I can just send these wires backwards, then fill up this uh, hole fully so it's uh, watertight. And on the other side of the wall, then drill another hole through which uh, I will be putting the wire from this thingy. Uh, and on the other side of the hole, I will put a, a big uh, power switch that's able to handle about 3000 watts or something like that. And we are only using 700 watts, so no issue whatsoever. And that switch will be controlling whether this thing gets power or not. Because if my daughters will uh, start this thingy uh, without uh, water in it, it will damage the pump. So I need to ha have a hard shot off uh, for it, uh, not easily, uh, easily reached by the girls. And this will be in an area on the other side of the world well, where the girls cannot reach it. Uh, it's on, in the staircase, so it's a bit higher. That's perfect. Uh, in the end, let's go and do this. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's check with the PICTEC 1032. No voltage whatsoever. So now we can play around. Drill the 12 millimeter hole. And then with this, uh, cut even more all around. So I have a 12 mil. Ah, it's clogged now up to the other side and now I will widen it with a 22 millimeter ah you can see now with a 22 millimeter so I have enough room in there for these wires and the wires from the top itself and I will put two separate pipes uh, I think of this type one next to the other one for this to go to and one for the hot tub wires to go to so I'm not putting everything in one pipe okay so through this tube the wire from the hot tub will go these are the old wires old black tube through a little bit of connection white tube and then into a uh, tube like this one uh, and going into the other side of the wall and i will seal up everything in here apart from this particular hole through which we will put our uh, power wire but this will be sealed up like nothing was ever here as it have uh, should have been from the start because why would you want the connection exactly beneath this thing or a socket or who knows what no 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 i'm expecting there are types of uh, fully waterproof connections don't get me wrong i understand that they're, they're, they exist but i'm not sure they are allowed so i'm trying to do everything uh, as required by the law and uh, be better safe than sorry just to be safer than safe i've siliconed this hole uh, up so we have a layer of silicone deep in there protecting the wires this is the only thing i can as you can see the light on the other side that has a direct connection to the other side and now on top of it i will put uh, quite strong cement 
and it's done. I just need to let it uh, dry up a little bit so I can clean up the edges. But honestly, it's under uh, the level that can ever be seen. So literally it doesn't even matter if I leave it like this. At this point, I'm checking all of the feet to make sure they, they are tightened so they will never move. Uh, yes, we can see into the pipe. In many, many years, some rust will be here, but yeah, what can we do? Uh, and I realized we have two screws in this area where uh, our fat butt will stay. So we could actually add more feet. We have in front, as you can see, two feet where the legs, the feet, our feet when we are standing are. Uh, they are not touching, I need to adjust them. Uh, but we could add even here to make it even more sturdier. So about these little guys with this uh, weird knot that will be the link between this and what we already have there. And on top we'll have this as a counter uh, nut and this is counter nut for this one. So yeah, let's add some feet. Ta -da -da. Two more extra feet. We just, just increased the capacity with about 50 kilos. I'm joking, I have no idea. But hopefully it will help uh, sturdy it up a little bit. Now let me adjust the other two that are in the air. Actually these two in line right there. And then we should be ready for a test before uh, putting it uh, uh, sealed next to the wall just to check that we don't have any leaks. Started to install the drain that those things are all provided. This I bought myself an extension with this and we'll be connecting right here. They are all, all 40 millimeter connections. And we are connected, but this is far away from the walls because I just want to fill it up with that thing, which is a separate video. Ah, let's remove some stickers. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. As you remember, it has a protection, so everything will be coming off. Now we just remove... Also, this I shouldn't remove for the moment. These don't have protections. I just made sure they are tight, but from here you only tighten the basically the chrome not everything not anything else uh, what do we have in here yeah it has a plastic cap on it i need to remove it kind of hard to do it one hand yep managed to do it this is its control which is nice so close it up fill it test it and only then remove all of this and the whole protection from the whole thing obviously don't let any debris inside of it we don't want to run anything to the pump and we should be good to go we will connect it to ah, to an extension cord and we will not be doing any touchy touchy uh, on it uh, because we are only on a 30 milliamp fuse not on a 10, 10 milliamp fuse like we will be in the end so no touchy touchy still good still differential but not the ideal one the 10 milliamp yet for uh, for something like this and it's kind of full connected to that which is on a 30 milliamp differential fuse for the moment so uh, no no entering the water let's see Seems to be working and there are no water drips below it. Also the adjustment seems to be working. So, test passed. Now let's connect it. Uh, I need to change the wire because the original one is not long enough. And luckily the original one is a 0.75 millimeter uh, 
uh, wire and I will upgrade it to one millimeter wires because uh, why not? If you can do something, why not overdo it? The socket on the other side of the wall is ready. We have that tube. If I could actually show you some light, kind of hard to do it. Cannot find the proper angle. This communicates with the bathroom. This one is fully sealed on the other side, so the wires are coming here. And now through that one we will put the connection for the hot tub itself and camera focus on something please. Okay, at this point I'm replacing this cable, the factory one. It's not long enough so I could just snip it and put it through the wall where I need to. It barely reaches the wall in there, so no chance of going through the hole on the other side. So let's open the four screws up and redo the connection inside. This is the info on the cover. So 700 watts, 700 watts, basically almost one horsepower. Yeah. But uh, <sighs> careful about this mains capacitor. What uh, doesn't say more quality than a capacitor held in place with double sided tape Jesus and it's not going to be easy to replace uh, the wires because okay one of them which is flimsy honestly but anyway goes in here I have this type of connectors that I can do easily no issues whatsoever the other one goes into this type of shitty connector that uh, it seems are used a lot in electronics but I don't like them at all. So it's just basically a plastic that you tighten on top of uh, your wires, you can even see the marks from the tool, it's yeah. And the shitty part of it, sorry for that, is that we can see the ground wire going down almost under the capacitor. but. I am going to be pulling out this capacitor, which you could see how well it was stuck in there. I think it actually should have been stuck to one side and to the bottom, but they put it wrong and it was stuck only to the bottom. I don't know, I will see, I will put it back and maybe even add a bit of uh, some sort of glue. Yeah, I'm sure they put it like this, but it should have been like this to the side and to the bottom. So they didn't even put it in properly. Anyway. Again, be careful of uh, the, the wires because it is plastic, so the capacitor itself in this case it's harmless to touch, but there are metal ones, so that might not be fun. But anyway, I need to go in there and also, camera focus, also replace the ground, but I have also that type of connection, so no issue for me whatsoever, but it's, it's not fun at all. I was hoping just to cut the ends of the wires, tighten three screws and be done with it. No, they had other plans, great. So we have here the old wires and this is what I did. Crimped them and also soldered the tips for the uh, ground and uh, phase. And for neutral and life, I don't know why I said phase, anyway, from Romanian probably. And neutral, I put this uh, on it because uh, I want to put it together with the other two wires in one of these connectors that tightens them with a screw so they will make contact for sure. And we're done. Ground is connected back right there. Our uh, live wire is connected right here and insulated neutral is right here and the two original wires are both of them into one single ferrule in there and then any, everything tightened up with this screw right there you can see uh, presumably somehow the ends of them so yeah everything is at least as good as good as it was when uh, i started although i think it's a bit uh, it's a bit sturdier anyway put this in, it has a crack in it, so uh, it can tighten, so make sure the crack remains at the bottom, so we don't uh, tempt water getting in. 
Then we come with uh, this which will tighten the rubber in place but just make sure you get the thread the right way so you don't destroy it. And in theory now it's just a matter of uh, tighten it to the end. Our wire is just a fraction thicker than the original one so it should make even a better seal than the original one. And uh, yeah, we are good to go. At this point I'm still thinking about this capacitor but uh, I think I will just put it in here in a similar fashion to how it was but I'm going to use both adhesive tapes, not only one. So one of them to the side and one of them at the bottom. I think this is how it was meant to be but the worker somehow messed up. I don't know. And the rest of the wires just tuck them in there obviously. And at this point this rubber seal goes back in its uh, location on the cover and now we put the cover uh, rubber seal get back in there with the four screws at the ends and the rubber seal will be tightened onto this lip right here. So in theory it's a fairly decent uh, seal but you do not want water in here for sure. So it's, uh, it's better if this for example will never fail because if it fails yeah, that 10 milliamp uh, differential fuse uh, could save your life. Make sure you have it and make sure the earth connection, the grounding is good in your house. We also have this wire, but I don't have really anything to connect it to. In, in, in our situation, the ground is provided uh, directly through the connection that I will be making in the wall with the rest of the cable. So that will be our ground. At this point we have our wire zip tied to the frame and going into the wall and I will also seal that hole. And if you're wondering why this is here, I don't want to use it on something else by mistake because if this ever fails, it will be really fun to get the warranty. Hey, does it already have a problem right there? Is it correct? No, I think this is how it's supposed to be. Anyway, so it will be fine, uh, fun uh, having uh, a good warranty on it when I uh, change the wire. Maybe even like that, I did change uh, uh, part of it. If I put it back, it will not be 100% factory anymore. But at least I have it to present it, so it wasn't usable. They tell you to connect it into another room. How can you connect it into another room with a cable that barely reaches the end of this, uh, this thing? So, yeah, anyway, never mind. It is what it is. And that hole is also sealed. I pushed some silicone inside the pipe. In case I ever need to remove it from there, I will be able to pull it out if I pull strongly enough. But uh, for the moment, it is fully sealed. If we still have this wire here, we decided to ground it uh, also to the chassis a bit better. So from this we have ground to this, to the pump, the metal part of it and through this wire the ground continues also in here. In theory from here it will go in here, but we do have the, the rubbers, then we do have paint under uh, these nuts. So. It is a ground, but who knows how well. Here I uh, did scrape a little bit uh, all around, so I made sure we have a better contact. I didn't want to open this up and scrape. It's just because it existed, but uh, not necessary, honestly. With everything being connected and this ready to be connected when we pull it uh, against the wall, we need to remove these protections from, from it and then we will put a bit of sealant all around, clean up the wall because it's still dirty from construction to make sure it will connect well to it and uh, hope for the best and then I will go on the other side and make the connections and then put this hopefully late on, who knows. If you still didn't believe that we have a protection film all over this tub, 
Yep, we do. And it might be a pain to remove in some areas. But it's there and we need to get rid of it. Although some scratches I think still went through everything. But life is not perfect. So this is gonna be fun. One huge peel off. Just want to point out, you will be left with all sorts of little pieces <sighs> that you will be removing in months and years to come as this uh, disintegrates more and more uh, this protection foil because everything was already installed prior to delivering this thing with this rubber a bit crooked, crooked. Anyway, so I don't want to start undoing stuff just to put them all back together. Here will remain some little pieces. Yes, you could again <sighs> undo everything, but I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. Somehow we peel everything we can and that's it. And uh, yes, these things are a sort of foam. It's not fake leather or anything. It's just a foam. So in theory water should not get into them, or I hope at least. If you are really tall, you might be needing this level, although I don't think so. It's maybe just for cleaning. This is not one satisfying pill. It's just a matter of <laughs> ripping pieces as you go, because these were tightened over the pill itself. But at least on this particular model, we can remove this and when we put them back, uh, I hope I got the thread right. I don't want to cross thread this thing. We don't have any more of that uh, ah, protection peel. Let's continue. In the end, decided to also put this on before going into the wall. And I can tell you for sure that the manufacturers did hiccup a lot while I was installing this because me needing to readjust the feet screwed up the whole alignment thing for this uh, cover and it's really stupid. It's the way it's, uh, it's designed, it's really stupid. The feet themselves honestly are quite stupid the way they adjust. I needed to extend a few of them because my bathroom is not flat. The guy that built it decided to give uh, an incline to it. And most bottoms do have an incline to them. So, yeah, there's that. If you are wondering why there's water there, it's because uh, I needed to remove the connection to the drain. So it's not from anywhere else. I got scared also for a second. But yeah, it's in here. I just need to put the tiny crappy plastic covers on them. But now, seal on this glue it to the wall hope for the best so i put silicone hopefully you can see something in there there are some spots where you can see it a bit better i will also put another layer on top of it here this is the maximum that it came uh, close to the wall so i will need to put a bit more silicone the walls are not perfect so there's that anyway seems to be working i will let the silicone dry get rid of this thingy Overall, let me try and move to the wide angle, it's good. Still need to finish something on the walls, but needed to have this done first. I know it doesn't make sense to have this before anything else, but life doesn't happen the way you want it. So needed this first. Anyway, good, good. Now let me do the electrical connections on the other side of the wall where, where we will have the switch the kill off switch for the pump actually forgot about the finishing touch it's not finished until you have protection on the screws no unprotected screws please this needs to be cleaned but after the silicone dries just wanted to show that all three of these caps cracked so basically the weakest thing in this whole uh, bathtub is actually presumably the cheapest thing and yes being a kind of plastic it's kind of basically an electrostatic dust magnet it will cover everything the connections are also done 
ground is going directly back in, neutral going directly back in, and live going through this 16 amp switch. So when this is in the off position, the pump will never run, then it can run. And this is above, as you can see from the angle probably, it's above uh, my head level, so nobody, my daughters will not be able to touch it for many years to come. And it's done. This is just a dumb plug, doesn't do anything, just cover the hole. Now it's on, now it's off. Now let's go and change the fuse from 30 milliamp differential to 10 milliamp differential. Let's replace this guy with this guy. This is gonna be fun and I need to check with the big tech to make sure I don't have any voltage although I uh, decoupled the main fuse for the whole house but just be sure. I, somebody else wired this so I can never know exactly how they did it. Okay, we can play at will. There's no power here. Nowhere. Great. And it's done. Ta -da -da. Connected. Has a bit of a different uh, connections and shape to the other ones, but I don't care. The old one is here, will be used in the future for something else unconnected. And if I'm also here, I clipped this in. I think it's a phase indicator, just shows you when you have power in this whole thing but also not, not connected now, it will be in the future. So, cover pet con and let the silicone sealant dry and tomorrow we will continue. About a week later, because I had other things to do, as always, managed to also put uh, the silicone all around it. It's not perfect and it was a pain in the behind, especially in this area, because nothing properly fits in here it's not a regular shape it's yeah in there again not a regular shape at all those were quite close so couldn't properly get my hands in there anyway it's done it's sealed it's also glued to the wall because this on top is just the ceiling one there's a deeper one that's gluing everything to the wall so this will not move from here for sure. So let's give it 24 hours to dry and uh, tomorrow we party. A bit later I upgraded this situation in here to be more obvious when this thing is on. And you know for a fact that this is on. It's not flickering in real life, it's just because the, of the frame rate. Uh, now the hot tub is working. Now it isn't. So it's quite obvious at eye level I cannot miss this and remain on by mistake. Oopsie daisy. Also the lower side has a protection to it and it has been sitting in here since uh, I installed this. Forgot about it. And we are using this tub for a good while now. Uh, it's really fun. It's quite big so two persons can sit in it without issues. Honestly, if you have two small uh, childs, uh, children, uh, yeah, you can actually sit for, for in here, uh, but a little bit uh, cramped. Anyway, good quality from what I see, managed to make the, the whole thing level, but that wasn't uh, that easy. Anyway, it is what it is, but now that it's all together with silicone uh, on the edges and everything in place, remove the protection from the protection. Yep, it's nice and it's quite powerful and it does the job, but keep in mind, this is not really water uh, efficient because if you want to use the uh, massage part of it, you need to be above the level of, of those outputs because otherwise water will squirt outside of it so it's quite per powerful it can squirt uh, uh, outside of it so keep that in mind you will use lots of water but hey it is what it is let me uh, get back to you when this is filled and yes obviously if you want links for the other uh, elements used in here they will be in the description 
and we are above those so now it's full and we can actually power it on it will make a lot of noise so be ready for that Pro probably i will not be able to talk i will power it on then show you minimum it's at minimum now and maximum hmm okay -ish. i hope we didn't actually lose somehow As you could see, that button is not that responsive, but it is working in the end. I hope it, it will not get worse in time. I didn't really have a good position pressing it, just extending over everything, but still not being uh, extremely easy to press. We'll see in time what happens there. At maximum, this is much too powerful in my opinion. We are using it mostly at minimum and uh, yeah, it works nicely. Jets all over, even in weird positions. Not sure what's up with that. With that, maybe ladies can tell us. Who knows? Anyway, but yeah, overall, good purchase, and I like it. So, thanks for uh, watching this. I'm tripping over everything that's in this bedroom. Daughters want to get in to have fun. So, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.